Hi guys, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick video on the comparison between three different wallets that I have. Um, I'll also be going over the pros and the cons for each wallet, and just to give you an overall overview and my opinion of each wallet. So. Um, the three wallets that I have, the first one is just a leather wallet. It's all leather. The second one is a blue patent leather wallet. And then the last one is a Croco embossed wallet. So all of these wallets are the cell phone zip around wallets. So each one is specifically supposed to be made for a cell phone to fit inside. So the first one that I want to talk about, and this is actually the first one that I purchased, and it is the leather zip around wallet, cell phone zip wallet. And this one is in the color brown. And so some of the pros about this wallet is it's very carefree. Um, and what I mean is it's all leather, so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty because it's also a dark color. That's one of the pros. And you can kind of beat this wallet up. And I have literally beat it up. It's been around the world and back, and it still is in halfway decent condition. I think I picked this one up back in January, around that time frame. So I'm just gonna briefly go over the specifics of this wallet. So here we just have our, it's a leather Dooney and Burke patch here. And then it also has the brushed gold hardware so it's not the really really shiny gold it's the brush gold and one of the other pros is that this wallet comes with a wristlet strap where you can carry it on your arm like this and you guys I'm left-handed so I always kind of have an issue with these wallets because if I'm carrying it carrying it like this I mean, you know, you can't see the duck, but you know, whatever. But it's just made for right-handed people because when you carry it on your right hand, it actually looks a lot better. But I'm left-handed, so when I carry it, I'm always carrying, carrying it with the duck closer to me. So that's another one of the pros is that it does have a wristlet and it is detachable where you can detach it here, just in case you wanna carry it as a clutch. You can also carry it as a clutch. So let's go to the inside. These are very, very easy to zip wallets. Very, very nice and smooth zipper. So here's the inside. And what I like about this leather wallet is that it stretches. It has a little bit more give than any of the, the other two that I have. So this wallet features a zip pocket here. It has a slip pocket here for cash or receipts. It has another little opening here. And then this is actually where the cell phone would go. And you guys, I have, I don't know, lint or something in the bottom of the bag, so excuse that. I haven't used this wallet in a while. So I used to have a a iPhone 4S and it actually fit perfectly in this little section right here where it kind of sinks in right here but now I have the 5S and it doesn't quite fit there but it does fit in this back section but it only will fit comfortably if I only have just a few cards and maybe some cash but if I were to fill it up with receipts and coupons and all kinds of other stuff, it's it's gonna be bulky. So on the other side, it has four credit card slots here, nice size slots. And again, with this leather, it stretches and it just makes it really, really nice and secure. 
So that's this one. This one really doesn't have any cons, um, but I don't normally grab for this one or go for this one for some reason. Um, I guess because it's so plain, but overall, this is a very good wallet. Would I purchase it again? Absolutely. Okay, so now let's move on to my next purchase, which was the Croco Embossed cell phone zippy wallet and this one is actually in the color cognac now look wise cosmetic wise this is actually my favorite wallet i mean because it's just so rich looking it looks so rich and it it pretty much goes with anything and i love all the highs and lows that it has here and the back it's just plain there's no pockets or anything on the back so some of the pros about this one is, again, number one, it's beautiful. Um, it's that croco embossed leather, which gives it a totally different look, a totally different feel. So that's one of the pros. Another pro is this one also has a detachable wristlet strip on here where you can carry it as a wristlet. Um, another Pro is that it's compact. Again, it's not a huge wallet, but it's not a really small wallet. So it fits perfectly in a small bag as well as a large bag. Okay, so now let's get to the cons of this wallet. Though it's very, very beautiful. And this is beautiful. Um, this one compared to the leather wallet, this wallet here actually has the 1975 Dooney and Burke brass plate, which is gorgeous, so gorgeous. This one just has the regular leather patch here, which makes it more carefree. This one will scratch. This will scratch. It has some grommets here, these four grommets, and they are raised. So if you were to lay it on a flat surface like this, it's just going to hit it. It's not going to scratch it. But on the inside of your bag, if you have something inside of the bag that will possibly scratch it, it will scratch. Um, right now, I don't have, I just have some minor, minor surface scratches. But I mean, that's just normal, normal wear and tear. So that's one of the cons is that you have to be careful with these plates because they will scratch. The other con, and this is my biggest con, is the wear and tear on this one is not as good as the leather wear and tear. And the reason I say that is because with this one, though very, very pretty, this one is showing some signs of wear. And I think I got this one maybe a month or so after I got the leather wallet. But if you see here, on the corners just from getting it in and out of the bag it's showing lots of wear some of the um, embossing is starting to peel off so that doesn't look very cute and as well as on this side if you can see that how it's starting to get a little bit lighter and fade it like right around here and then also something, this is very easily, once you scratch it, you can pretty much see through it. And if you see this little scratch here, it looks like some of the coating has come off. I mean, it's not a big deal, but you know, it, it bothers me sometimes. So, and then also on the sides, you can kind of see some of the wear, like right up in there. But overall, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous wallet gorgeous wallet just to grab and go go out to dinner very very beautiful wallet so the million dollar question about this wallet is would I purchase again and the answer is no I would not purchase another croco embossed wallet because of the wear and tear issues that it has I like a wallet that I don't have to switch out every day and just for the few months that I've had this one, it's starting to show lots of wear that I 
that I don't like, so I probably would not purchase this again. Okay, so my last wallet is my latest purchase that I revealed in my latest video. And if you have not checked out that video, please make sure to do so. So this is the patent leather cell phone zippy wallet in blue. Very, very, very beautiful wallet. I have never owned patent before, um, either an accessory or as a bag. So I thought that I would give this one a try and just see what I thought about it. And then maybe I'd venture out into getting a patent leather bag, but I thought I'd start off with the wallet. So some of the cons with this right off the bat, and I just had a boo-boo with my strap on my 1975 Vanessa bag that I just revealed in my last video. And if you have not checked out that video, please be sure to check it out. And I will also put a link below. So one of the cons about this one is it has Vaquetta, untreated Vaquetta. And I am not a huge fan of untreated Vaquetta, though it's very, very pretty. Um, it just, it gets dirty really quick if you aren't careful. Um, it doesn't patina very even if you aren't careful. It shows signs of dirt and wear and tear very easy. So with this wallet, this is gonna be pretty much like a special occasion wallet. I'm not gonna carry it every day because I don't want to have to stress about this untreated Vaquetta. I will treat this with my rain and stain protectant, but I, I don't know, I still get a little nervous. So um, that's one con. The second con that I've noticed about this wallet is that it shows fingerprints. And again, I mean, I know it's patent and I just, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I didn't know that it was gonna show every little fingerprint, every little speck of dust, um, but it's beautiful. So, I mean, it's either you, you give some, you take some. So um, that is the second con. And the other con is, hold on one second. The other con is that I normally carry, and this is a, a recent purchase, I normally carry the large cosmetic case. And when I put this next to it in my bag, it sticks. It sticks, so I, I don't like that. It sticks, so anytime I'm trying to get my wallet out, it sticks. So I guess if I didn't have this type of, of cosmetic case, then it would be okay, but I have grown to love these cosmetic cases, and actually I use this in my large bone Florentine satchel and it kind of helps it keeps its shape without having a base shaper or a bag organizer. So anyway, um, that is the second con, but it wouldn't be a con for you if you did not carry a, a plastic cosmetic case. So now on to the pros. Again, it's beautiful, very carefree. It's, um, just gorgeous. And also it has this plate here on the front and it's also trimmed in this vaquetta, which is beautiful. And then again, it opens up very, very smooth. And I'm trying to do this with one hand, but the inside, I already have stuff in here because I use this today. And I also have another bag reveal coming up that I use this wallet with, and though I'm not a matchy-matchy type of person, but um, I thought that it would fit perfectly with the bag. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the pros and cons for each of these wallets, and just give you my thoughts on it. So this wallet here, would I purchase it again? Absolutely. I can get over the fingerprints. I can get over the vaquetta because it's only a small, a small amount of vaquetta. 
So I would absolutely purchase this wallet again. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you to make a decision when you're trying to look for wallets or any other accessories in these different textured leathers. And I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.